that is where they invented stratiotellus. It is, it is peaceful, it is recharging, it is everything that we need more of, I think, as humans. Totally worth the five euros though. Hey travel lovers, welcome to A Wanderlust for Life. I'm Jessica and this is the channel that shows you European gems through food and memorable experiences. Today we are in Bergamo, Italy and I'm gonna show you all the things you can do here in a day and just, yeah, we're gonna have fun. Let's get into it. off here at the central station right behind me there is also an info point right in front of me I'm gonna go in there real quick I have already picked up some stuff but I'm gonna see if this one has anything extra and then we are gonna head up to see the upper part of the city hopefully see some amazing nature and maybe do a little bit of shopping eh, eating probably it's gonna be a fantastic day. By the way, it is 22 degrees Celsius and it's about 72 degrees Fahrenheit. It is middle of May and feels amazing. In case you're wondering, that is where we are going. We've actually been to Bergamo before, so it's really cool to kind of uh, see the spots that we've been before. <laughs> that was one of them. Um, I actually took the funicular up. I wasn't really planning on it. I was on the bus that will take me all the way to a very sweet spot. I'll tell you about that later. And it'll give a little hint as to what my next video will be. But we are walking through these absolutely stunning streets. Very Italian. And we're gonna go to Piazza Vecchia and check out what's there. We took the funicular, but there is another funicular so we can go even higher, which we're gonna do for sure. But I think there's one more spot I want to visit here, and my sweet tooth is kind of taking over, so I think that means I need gelato. And my favorite spot is right by the funicular, so I'm gonna show you one more cool spot in this area, and then let's go higher. I am usually better at this. <laughs> this is what I what happens when I go off the cuff. Uh, it looks like it's closed. The thing I wanted to do it was the theatrical social. That's okay, because it just means it's gelato time. Got gelato, and uh, so I went to Mariana, and that is where they invented stracciatella. So of course we had to get that. I may have been here yesterday, I may be here tomorrow. Also, there's a bus that takes you directly here. <laughs> Great views, found donkeys, but I'll show you, it's already melting. <laughs> so I got stretchy tell of course, and then Viennese. Haven't tried that one before, so let's do that. Very rich. I'm gonna do my best not to get chocolate all over me, or ice cream in general. Um, very chocolatey. I think it tastes a little uh, cherry, maybe? but it definitely tastes like more like a sasher cake, I think is what it's called. But I'm gonna eat this. I made some friends with donkeys, wherever they went. I'm gonna enjoy the view. The gelato was so messy. So my trick is hand sanitizer and tissues to get all the sticky. Is it all over my face? <laughs> So now I'm gonna try to go up to the free botanical garden. We'll see uh, how that does. They warned me there's a lot of steps. So. Let's do this. Did it. 
I think in my school, because I can hear the kids screaming. <laughs> the funny thing is that it's very, very peaceful, but there is a school down there, at least I assume, because the kids are still yelling. So it's like, you hear little trinkles of water, you hear the birds, I just saw a dragonfly, oh, that breeze. Oh, it's nice. Um, but it's like, the yelling kind of changes the vibe a little bit, but it's not like that all the time, obviously. But I love the little seating areas, the little pond behind me. I just love like the little footpaths that they have and little viewpoints. This is definitely a gem worth the stairs if you can do it. And a little workout is good for those who are able. So many nooks and crannies and little paths to take. And you have this view behind me. Do you hear the birds? I love being amongst the green. It is, it is peaceful, it is recharging, it is everything that we need more of, I think, as humans. And there was a gentleman who, he just beelined it past me. Oh, there's water and he knew the exact spot to sit in right now and he's just sitting there, socks off, reading in the shade, overlooking the hills. It's just mind boggling that there's like five people total here. The upper part of Bergamo is fortified by these city walls built by the Venetians in the 16th century. And there is still so much of it to look at, you can even walk along it and get the most beautiful view over the lower part of Bergamo. It's a beautiful walk. You can walk it, you can take the bus, uh, whatever you fancy. Um, but I think we're gonna go on the funicular to go up to the old castle. That was amazing. We have now taken the funicular up to the castle Vigilio? Vigilio? I will figure out how to say it. And these views are amazing. I just found these kind of hidden stairs. I guess it goes to somebody's house. But uh, look at the view. <laughs> because I know I have some viewers who, when you come, it'll be your first time to Europe. Maybe your first time to Italy. In this area specifically, but in a lot of Europe, you wanna make sure you have good footwear. Currently, <laughs> um, part of this pathway is like rocks, like rounded rocks, not even cobblestones. Uh, and stairs, sometimes they're hundreds of years old. So you wanna make sure to bring footwear you can actually walk in. All right guys, this looks a little sketch. So there's the castle, and there's these stairs. I mean, you'd go down to it, right? <laughs> Oh, okay, little oasis. Oh, there's people, there's people relaxing. So I'm taking the long way down by foot, but I feel like the map said stairs. Definitely not stairs. And I can't imagine, like people live here and they have like their cars parked here and this is, this is a road. Like, it's not like fun to drive on. I mean, because it's bumpy, but also it's very steep. And I told you before there was a hint in the video as to what the next video is gonna be. Anybody know what that is? If you've been watching the channel for a while, you definitely know what it is. It took a while, but I found the stairs. Yeah. And there's a lot more to go, but the view is incredible. the next day because that was a very long trek down. Um, the steps are kind of angled down a little bit as well so it just it takes a lot of effort. If you do it and you only have a day here or even only two I would highly suggest taking the funicular back down to the upper town and maybe walking down from there. But honestly I was just exhausted so <laughs> I'm gonna take you back around today so you can see the lower town. You can still all do it in a day if you had to but for now let's go explore some more. 
Okay y'all, I'm vlogging in public for you. So if you like these kinds of videos, like the video and subscribe. If you aren't already, because it's super awkward. Thank you. I have a really big, very important tip for when you want to pack for an area that has different weather than what you're used to. And it's not just about packing, you know, for hot weather. It's also about packing for the region. So shorts for women isn't as much of a thing in a lot of Europe. Of course, you can absolutely wear whatever you want. But for me, I like to, I don't know, try to fit in, but also just be super, super comfortable. So what I did is I overpacked. Don't do what I did. But then I went to the shops here and I was able to find um, very light pants. So it just kind of feels like a skirt. It's very light and I can wear it in 30 degree weather, which is very, very warm. Um, but also like you can dress more like a local and then have it for other places that have that kind of weather. And also, big, big tip of your short, uh, shop in Southern Europe. <laughs> That is a big deal for me because it's really hard for me to find shorter clothes for people in the Netherlands. It's just the fact I try to shop when I'm in Spain, Portugal, Italy, and uh, I take those home. An important thing to know is on the street, there's also cyclists. So you want to be careful. But seriously guys, walking is awkward enough when you're walking in people, but trying to do it and avoiding bikes. Okay, don't forget to look up when you're anywhere new because the view might surprise you. I mean, check out these buildings. That is gonna wrap up this video. If you enjoyed this walk around Bergamo with me, please go ahead and give the video a like and subscribe if you aren't already. And I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.